phone screen is really the first step that they're fit, they're directly speaking to us about a particular job here at Sonos. And it can be very stressful for a student. One of the things we try to do to mitigate that is we set up video phone calls using our video conferencing system. Not, again, to get shy people on camera, but we're cognizant of the fact that some of our students' English isn't their first language or that everyone comes from a different cultural background and perspective. So similar to the issues you sometimes run into with email and people misunderstanding the written word, the same can happen over a normal telephone call. So we find by getting on video conference, being able to see your interviewer smile uh, when they say something and show acceptance for the comments that you're making non-verbally really has a positive impact on calming the students down. Okay. But I think for the most part, the best advice I could give in preparing for the telephone interview is know everything in detail that's on your CV and resume. It's so important. Um, I, I'll give you an example. We've had a few uh, situations where students have put projects that they've worked on on their resumes. And they've very much highlighted these projects. And those projects, in turn, are quite relevant to the type of work that we're doing. Unfortunately, we've had a few instances where when we follow up in the telephone interview to ask the student specifically, tell me about what you did on this project and you know, the work that you did and what you found interesting, a lot of times we hear responses like, oh, you know, that was last year. I don't really remember exactly what we were going after there, but you know, it was fun to do. And it might just seem like an offhanded answer, but to your interviewer who doesn't know you and doesn't know anything about you, demonstrates a couple of things that are really sort of red flags for us. Number one, did you in fact do that project? Um, because if it was only a year ago, if this is something you're passionate about, then you should remember at least some aspect of it. And the second red flag that goes up is, did you prepare? How interested are you in speaking to us? You know, I know all I need to know about Sonos. You're not going to impress me by telling me that Sonos has a Play 1, a Play 3, a Play 5, a Play Bar, and a Sub, <laughs> and a couple of amps. But you are going to impress me by telling me I'm passionate about this one particular area. Here's how I demonstrate it in my academic life, and here's how I'd love to be able to demonstrate it at Sonos. And those are the things that really get our attention, attention in the telephone interviews.